Wow. Hey, tell me. What, what, excuse me. <laughs> tell me, what, what gives you the your biggest kicks? Well, number one? Yeah, which one? <laughs> Mustang. Yeah. The 1970s were a memorable decade for a number of reasons. Great car commercials are one of them. Today we are looking back at 10 awesome car commercials from the 1970s. It's advertised on TV so you know it's good. Because of the graininess of some of the commercials being old, we'll start with some pictures and some nice clear footage of the car before we get into each commercial to appreciate the beauty of these cars in high definition. If you grew up during this era, hopefully it brings back some good memories when times were simpler. Number 10, 1970 Dodge Challenger RT Commercial. In 1970, Dodge played on the head-turning looks of the Challenger RT with the tagline, if you can handle how people react to your Dodge Challenger, then you can be Dodge material. Their commercial depicts a confused police officer mistaking the car for a race car. They do a great job entertaining the viewer while highlighting its features. Let's have a look. Hey boy, that car. Uh, what's wrong, officer? Boy, you're in a heap of trouble. Violation of city orders 11 14, operating a racing type vehicle inside the city limits. Oh, I said, this is the new Dodge Challenger RT. It's it's, it's not a racer. Ain't hey, I? What kind of tires, them, boy? Optional polyglass GTs. Racing tires. Them stripes, that boy, what you call those? R racing stripes. <laughs> I suppose that's a reconverted lawnmower motor. Optional 440 <laughs> Magnum V8. Put that doohickey in there, boy. Well, that's a new optional slapstick racing shift. But look, it's got uh, concealed wipers, and it's got dual headlights. Now, you don't find that on any racer, do you? Careful, boy. I'll book you for sassy law officer. If you can handle the way people react to your 1970 Dodge Challenger, you could be Dodge material. Now, look, boy. I know a race car when I see one. Number 9. 1970 Camaro Commercial. In 1970, Chevrolet aimed to recapture the muscle car magic with what they referred to as the Super Hugger Camaro. Their commercial, with the tagline, It's not how young you are, it's how old you aren't, targeted both young and older enthusiasts. New Camaro, Super Hugger. If it were just an ordinary sportster, Chevy might have introduced it at the ordinary time. But it isn't, so we didn't. I drive my Camaro from the mountains to the sea. Chevy built a whole new car from the road up with an improved road-hugging suspension that lets you feel the road without feeling the bumps. With all this go, you get plenty of stop. Front disc brakes are standard. Isn't this a little too much? I said you could use my Camaro, but not all the time, Dad. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it, I'll save up and buy one of my own. New Camaro. The Super Hugger. See it at your Chevy dealers. After all, it's not how young you are, it's how old you aren't. Number 8. 1976 Dodge Charger Daytona Commercial The 1976 Dodge Charger Daytona was a nice car to look at. I'm sure it'll turn more heads now than it did back then. I like their tagline in the commercial, Once you look, you're hooked. The new Dodge Charger once you've looked, you're hooked. Introducing the 76 Dodge Charger Daytona. Two-tone paint, radial tires, and glove-soft bucket seats. The Daytona is only one of four beautiful chargers. And there is even one you can get hooked on for under $4,000. The new Dodge Charger. Once you've looked, you're hooked. Number 7, 1970 Ford Mustang Commercial. The 1970 Ford Mustang Mach 1 is a beauty. Ford's advertisement for this was pretty clever in how they used word association. When you think of number one, you think of Mustang. Also, the scene at the end with the guy in prison is also pretty funny. Tell me one more time why we never win. Well, number one. Number one. There's Mustang. Mustang. Miss, do you have a car for me? Why, we have 18 models to choose from. Uh, number one, there's Mustang. I'll take and it. Number, number one, there's Mustang. America's number one sporty car. Mach 1. Shaker up front. 
spoiler in the back. 428 powerhouse in between. Mustang, number one for 1970. Racket, honey. What have you missed the most since you've been away? Well, number one, my Mustang. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. Number 6, 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner Commercial. With the tagline coming through and the Roadrunner saying beep beep throughout the chase of the commercial, they showed the Roadrunner effortlessly outrunning Wiley e. Coyote's wacky contraptions. It was a fun and memorable way to showcase the car's muscle, making it a standout commercial of the era. Seventy-one Roadrunner coming through with totally new styling. It looks like fun. It drives like fun, and it still goes beep beep. Beep beep. The only place to catch a Roadrunner is at your Plymouth dealers. Number 5, 1978 Mercury Bobcat Commercial. In 1978, the Mercury Bobcat Commercial took a playful approach to budget-friendly driving. Their tagline, Love That Bobcat, wasn't just catchy, it was the entire message how you would love it for its affordability, gas mileage, or if you needed a three-door or wagon. This quirky commercial's overall appeal was its focus on affordability and practicality. For 78, Mercury Bobcat Runabout has added standard features and lowered its sticker price. Steel belted radials, power front discs, front stabilizer bars, style steel wheels, trim rings, tinted glass. If you love a bargain, you'll love that Bobcat. And Bobcat respects gas. EPA rated 25 city, 35 highway. It's worth your money to love that Bobcat. Three door or wagon, you love that Bobcat. <laughs> Number 4, 1979 Formula Firebird Commercial. Forget about following the flock, the 1979 Pontiac Formula Firebird carves its own path with a sleek pitch black tail and innovative recessed headlamps. This commercial positions the Formula Firebird as Pontiac's most refined breed of bird, promising an unforgettable driving experience. See for yourself why the Firebird was Pontiac's best getting better. Introducing Pontiac's 1979 Formula Firebird with Pontiac's exclusive new pitch black tail to mark your path. And new recessed headlamps to guide you. Formula is our most sophisticated breed of bird. Nothing even comes close. Well, almost nothing. Have a good evening, sir. What else? 1979 Pontiacs. Our best get better. Number 3, 1979 Ford Granada Commercial. Feeling fancy, but on a budget? In 1979, Ford compared the stylish and affordable Granada to a much pricier Mercedes. The commercial playfully positions the Granada in front of luxurious estates, suggesting its classic design could rival its European counterpart, all for a fraction of the cost. Here is a really clever advertisement, again done by Ford's marketing team. The Stevens Estate. The $20,000 Mercedes looks right at home. So does the $5,000 Granada Ghia, sometimes mistaken for a Mercedes. It's an American classic. Meredith Manor. Mercedes styling looks at home. And Granada's does too. Hamilton House. Mercedes classic styling. Granada's classic styling. And the Granada price makes it right at home at any home. The 79 Ford Granada at your Ford dealer. <laughs> Number 2, 1978 Datsun 280ZX Commercial. Datsun aimed for a high-performance thrill ride with the 1978 280ZX, coining the tagline, We Are Driven. Their commercial unveiled the car as the best-kept car secret of the year. 
a successor to the iconic Z car. It showcased features from aircraft-inspired instrumentation to pre-programmed settings, power windows and steering, and a five-speed manual transmission with cruise control. See for yourself why it's the best-kept car secret. It's time to reveal the best-kept car secret of the year. A totally new Z car. The new Datsun 280ZX. Come sit in velour. Aircraft lighting on all instruments. Pre-flight checkout system. Power windows pre-programmed. Look, no hands. Power steering. Five-speed stick with cruise control. Four-speaker stereo. A cockpit of luxury found in cars costing thousands more. Now, feast your eyes on the new 280CX. The look is pure Z car, yet it looks like no other Z roaming the road. It's Datsun driven to its best, and Datsun at its best is awesome. We are Number 1, 1970 Ford Torino Commercial In 1970, Ford took a unique approach to designing their Torino. Instead of relying on engineers, they asked the wind itself to sculpt the car's form. The result? A wider, longer, and lower profile, unlike anything seen before. The commercial itself is a short, artistic experience, letting the wind's influence and the Torino's sleek lines do the talking. These cars had some brilliant advertising campaigns that seemed to be well thought out compared to today. Change is in the wind. For 1970, we asked the wind to design a car. Torino, 1970. Wider, longer, lower. molded into a sweeping new aerodynamic shape. This year, go with the wind. Torino, 1970. Ford gives you better ideas. It's the going thing. If you enjoyed looking back at these cars, then you just might have to watch this next video.